Hi, my name is Riley Carroll, and I'm the Arts and Life Editor at the Pi 7 uh, My name is Luke Walhorn, I'm the Sports Editor here at the Pi A little over a year ago, beginning of January, first week back from Christmas break, I was getting really paranoid and anxious about getting started in my career, getting a jump start. Even though I was only halfway through my sophomore year, I wanted to gain experience in sports writing. And so I just simply looked up UTSA newspapers, UTSA sports, and found the Paisano and went to the current sports editor at the time who is Ryder and immediately just texted his number and he got back to me, you know, within the hour. And it was actually on a Wednesday where we had the staff meeting. So I pulled up to the meetings and two days later, I was already writing for the sports section. I got started at the Paisano through Chloe Williams, our social media and web editor. We played volleyball together in junior high and she posted on her story that she had her first article up in the spring of 2022. So I swiped up and asked her how to get involved and she invited me to the first meeting after spring break and here I am. Definitely, I think the number one thing is deadlines. My first couple submissions were a little late. I'd be, you know, turning them in late Sunday. There was a couple times it was early Monday. And I knew that I wanted to be the sports editor once Ryder left because he was in his senior year. And so I knew I had to get a lot better and hit my deadlines more. So about after spring break last March, I started turning things in early. And that's, that's the normal thing I learned because now I use, you know, getting things done ahead of time and all other aspects of my life. The Paisano has also taught me a lot about leadership. Um, I was an editor at my high school yearbook, which is a lot different than being an editor at uh, the Paisano, which is a university newspaper. It's just been a really great experience all in all. And I've learned a lot, um, photography, graphic design, page design, you know, leadership skills, communication skills, everything the whole nine yards. My process kind of begins every Wednesday. Um, I search my emails and I search social medias just to find a whole bunch of different like events going on, new exhibits coming up, um, anything I can feature in the arts and life section. And then I go ahead and construct my meeting slides for the week. Our meetings are at 6 p.m. And then I pitch all of my, my pitches for the week to the staff. I keep track of who picks up what. And then from there, I request photos and graphics. After that, it's pretty smooth sailing until Sunday. Sunday is when we kind of start copy editing for the week. Uh, we go 1 to 4 p.m. So, oh, then Monday we have copy editing again at 5 p.m. Um, and this is more production night. And there I design my pages, lay them all out. Hopefully I get them done on Sundays. Sometimes I don't, sometimes it has to be put off till Monday. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, Monday is a pretty busy night, uh, but it's my favorite night because we kind of get to all sit together and have dinner together and laugh and talk, but also get down to work, which is the biggest thing. It's kind of tricky because sports are, you know, there's news every day. And with UTSA athletics, they play on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every day of the week. So it's kind of once the semester starts and I flew back from where I'm from, Hawaii, on January the 12th, it was day one, I was already writing for the Spurs on the 13th. So it seems like every single day there's something to do. So you wake up, you know, do my routine, school, workout, whatever. By the time four or five p.m. rolls around, I'm at a game or an event and, you know, writing it to have it turned in and submitted by 10 o'clock at night so we can copy edit it and upload it. So the process is honestly just focus on the day, focus on the day, get the coverage out. Thankfully now I have three to four people who are constantly helping and writing for me. And two to three days in advance, I kind of text them, hey, are you available for this? And you know, if they say yes, same process, get the article in the drive about 10 o'clock at night, copy, edit it, submit it. And you know, next day, rinse and repeat, do the same thing again. Uh, well, the easy answer would be, it has just built my resume so much and in such a short amount of time. Just about a year ago was the first time I ever covered a game. It was a UTSA men's basketball game on a Saturday. I think it was on like the 26th or something like that. So in just one year's time, I've already not only covered UTSA basketball, 
and you just say football, which is cool. But I've also covered March Madness events. I've gotten into uh, the Spurs games and San Antonio soccer leagues and just all these other events that some people won't do until they're like in their 30s and do freelancing work. But in one year while at college, just in my junior semester or junior year of my spring semester, I've already just done so many events and the Paisano will get your foot in the door. And as long as you show up on time and have good attitudes, then uh, you continue to meet new people and do new things. It's hard to choose between the community and the experience. Um, I feel like I've learned so much valuable information. Like I was saying before, um, the whole nine yards, everything I need to know, or almost everything I need to know about um, journalism and photography and design and all of that. And the community is really great. All of the people at the Paisano are very welcoming and they've kind of become my home away from home. And you know, I just feel so accepted by everyone at the Paisano and I really appreciate everyone here. I think the Paisano is kind of like my foundation. It gives me something to look forward to every day that I know may be hard now, it'll pay off in the long run. It gives me a way to get my jitteriest out and all my anxiety or whatever. Just because I'm always just running high on emotion, but riding really calms me down, really, you know, puts me in my place. I've had previous experience before with journalism, but this is kind of like, it's a, it's a lot more advanced. It's a lot, um, it's a step up from what I'm, what I'm used to, but it's definitely my foundation. I'm a person who loves to look forward to my future and loves to do everything I can to better myself. And by every article I write, and I basically do, it seems like every day now, it seems like I'm just one step closer to the end goal, which is, you know, to be a sports debater, a writer at ESPN or Fox Sports, so. It's kind of what solidified my career path um, in wanting to be a journalist um, with going to DC and our conference and all. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of where I figured out what I want to do and who I want to be in the future. Thank you for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or click the videos for more from the Paisano.